Hey, I'm Duncan. And I'm Jessica, and we lived life like everybody else. We had a house, a car payment, a big TV, and a 9-to-5 job to pay for it all. But one day we got rid of it all to live life on the road, and now we're leaving mainstream society and making every day different by traveling on the outskirts. As promised, the 1997 Fleetwood Bounder, 34 feet of complete awesomeness. dealership, signed the papers nervously, um, and then I got in it and drove it all by myself to the gas station and where it stands right now. Driving it wasn't that bad. A lot of people were like, how are you going to deal with that 34 foot? But um, truth was, it was just like a big car. There was a little bit of a, a sway on the back end that I had to be aware of, but really not that hard. So I did it. I'm proud of myself and I'm so excited to get on the road again. There's one thing this thing isn't shy on, it's storage. In the back, both compartments in the back go all the way through for through storage. And up here we have our regular water heater, standard on most RVs. Over here we have our sewage system with our 30 amp power cords. More storage over here. And to finish it off, we have an old and gas powered generator. And this is the living room. Uh, one of my favorite features is that workbench right there. It comes up and both chairs go towards it so you can work while you're on the road. This is kind of like the brain. We've got holding tanks. Both of them are empty right now. We've got a motorized uh, entry step, which is kind of fancy for us. This folds down into a bed, pretty standard. Uh, this also folds down into a bed. Um, kitchen, oven, stove, vent microwave, pretty basic, but all awesome to have when you lived in a pop-up. Um, our shower is actually stand in the shower. You don't have to stand over top of the toilet. Lots of storage. Oh my God, storage. I love this. And then this is our bedroom. The best thing about this bedroom is the AC back. It has the AC in the front and the back. Underneath the hood, she has a 454 Chevy engine, so she's not diesel, she's gas. Hopefully it'll be enough power to get us up over those mountains. We still have a lot to do. We have to get out of the house that we're renting right now, and we have to find a place to park this thing while we save up. So, see you next time, traveling on the outskirts.